This is Twit. Why are you wearing those glasses? I'm ready for... I can't see a thing. I'm ready for the eclipse. It's coming August 21st. The total eclipse of the sun. It'll be total in a... It, this is the first time since 1979 that much of the United States or a large swath of the United States would be able to see a total eclipse of the sun. It's very exciting. I don't know if you remember, but about eight years ago, I went down to Australia, to Cairns, to see the total eclipse down I there. I do remember. It's an amazing experience. But now you can just go to Oregon or Washington or Florida. There's a band across the United States uh, that will be able to see totality. Here in uh, Northern California... We'll get about 71% uh, totality. That's going to be a significant darkness and significant eclipse. A real po important point that I will start off with is you've got to protect your eyes. It it's tempting as the sun gets darker even, you know, it, to look at the sun. It's really only safe to look when it's completely in darkness, which means most people in the United States should have some sort of eye protection or just not look at the sun. These are eclipse glasses. These are the real deal. Uh, this is another uh, little public service announcement. Amazon was selling some of these, and they were counterfeit. Oh. They claimed <gasps> to be effective. They even had the ISO 12312-2 filters for direct observation of the sun marked on there. That's the uh, special, you know, the standard for these. But they they were lying. How can they do that? You could well, burn Amazon's your eyeballs Amazon's out. refunding money to everybody who bought them, so you will have a refund. Not that that's the issue. I mean, these aren't expensive. They're paper glasses. The issue is if you thought they were safe and you looked at the sun and they weren't, mm -hmm. you, you, you literally could, bl could blind yourself. At the very least, you'll create a dead spot, you know, a blind spot in your eyes where the sun hits. This kind of information is important. Now, some of us will be able to go. Uh, John, our studio manager, John Slanina, is going to Washington State. Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, if you went to Washington, you miss it. So he's going, to, he's going to Oregon uh, to watch it. Uh, I, I've been reading uh, among my, uh, my uh, Twitter feeds and others, people, some people are going to Idaho to watch it. Jason a, Snell is going. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's so great. So here's a couple of apps. There are a lot of Eclipse apps. But John, who's our Eclipse expert, recommended uh, these two from the Smithsonian. Uh, of course, the Smithsonian's going to be a good place. They call it uh, Eclipse 2017. And uh, th this gives you a countdown until first contact in origin. Oregon. John, you only have five days, 22 hours, 52 minutes, 56 seconds, John. Better get packing. Some recent views of the sun, an interactive eclipse map. This might be the first place you want to go to see if you can see a totality. You see, we're going to get 77% here. But you want to go somewhere probably in this this if you're in the U.S. in this band. But of course, there's other places too. Well, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I think it's really pretty much the U.S. That's that's where you're going to want to be. Uh, you get the start time. So here it'll start at nine in the morning on Monday. Uh, the maximum time, which would be ten fifteen for us, and the end. But it's different for everywhere. So if we if we zoom in and we go to uh, somewhere in Oregon where John's going to be and, and tap that, that's, this is going to be an area of totality. You want to go somewhere where it's clear, right? You don't want to get any clouds. John picks somewhere where it's clear most of the time this time of year. And then you'll see the exact time where the maximum is, 1022. Uh, so that's very handy. So that's the first thing. Mitchell, Oregon, you guys are lucky. But you can also see what the sun's looking like right now. And... Watch live streams of the eclipse. This is NASA's live stream. Uh, so, it, you know, most of us will probably be standing outside looking with through glasses at the eclipse in our area, but you might want to see totality in the NASA live stream. Here's more about the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory. Eclipse Viewing and Safety Guide. Absolutely a must read. You got to know. And we've all been talking about this so much. I think probably the word has gotten out. Do not look directly at it. Well, we were talking about this last night at the dinner table, and my kids didn't know. They were like, why? And so I was like, oh, oh tell your kids. Tell your kids. Because those, those are the ones who are going to look at it, right? Um, they're they're going to they're gonna want to look at that. So, uh, you know, the best place, if you don't have this app, uh, would be to go to NASA's eclipse2017.nasa.gov. That's a very good site about the eclipse. And also has a viewing and safety guide. This is another app here. This is Total Solar Eclipse from the San Francisco Exploratorium, which we love. It starts right at the key spot, which is that map that we talked about. And we can even see a very exciting, epic 
video of the eclipse. The Exploratorium is great at popularizing <laughs> science. I think that's good. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> but that's the sneak peek. There's a video guide when to watch uh, and where to watch too. This is another. This will be another source of uh, streams that you can watch about eclipses, about the Exploratorium, and I'm glad to share information. Both of these are free, incidentally. You don't have to pay money for them. A couple of useful apps for you to get ready for uh, the big eclipse. It's coming Monday. If you had to pick one, John says, get the Smithsonian uh, Eclipse 2017 app. That has all the information uh, you'll need. And where did you get those glasses? John got them online, Amazon. right? Oh. Amazon? Because they were these available safe? at the library and they were available to, at, at 7-Eleven. Better to get it maybe from the library, right? <laughs> And uh, so you purchased elsewhere. Are your glasses legit? Have a look. Okay, so this is uh, on uh, a site called EclipseGlasses.com. But, uh, you know, John, I'm only a little worried about this because they're selling Eclipse glasses, and they say well, you can tell. Mm. And that's where I don't know if, the, if all of the bad glasses will have these particular attributes. It's right? a good site. It's a good site, John says. This is where he got this his EclipseGlasses.com. It's NASA-related? All right. So, John, these are rounded. Yes, rounded is good. Rounded is good. Right? Round good. Rounded is good. Rounded is good. You don't square. want the square corners. Well, I see, John, those look like that. You see what I'm saying? They look like this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just be wearing these until. I just think they're fashionable. Next. It looks like you've just Monday. been to the eye doctor. Yeah.